Hello everybody and welcome back to another review here on Jurassic Collectibles. So today we are taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the Schleich Diaboloceratops. It is a very, very unique dinosaur and a really, really cool little figurine. So before we take a look at this, I do want to say a big thank you to Dan at Jurassic Toys. Uh, he didn't actually send this over to be reviewed. He sent this to me as a gift in an order a while back um, and just for it in just as a little present, um, which was really, really kind of him, really generous. So I thought while we're on lockdown here in the UK, at least at the moment, I hadn't opened it before. So I've literally just opened it just before starting this video here. Uh, and we are going to take a look at it for the first time together. So something which really stands out to me right off the bat is the level of texture work in this figure. You can see the camera here is quite far back and all of this is still picking up really, really nicely. Especially down here where you've got these really thick folds in the skin. They kind of communicate the dynamic nature of this beast and look really, really cool. Now you can see you've got thicker bulges here in the stomach and they really, really make it look almost shadow-like, uh, adding a really nice layer of depth and texture to what is already a really, really cool figurine. Now if I bring it a little bit closer, if we take a look at the head here, just get that in focus, you can see that this has got an absolutely gorgeous level of detail. So there are loads and loads of different colours going on here. Lots and lots of different pieces of texture. You can see we have got the yellow eye just there, which looks good. Then loads and loads of pebbled skin and loads of different colours as well. We have got blacks, we have got whites, we have got browns. And we have even got a little bit of pink just in here for the tongue itself. Now you can see picking up there, even the beak has got texture sculpted into it, which looks really, really remarkable. You can see nostrils here, the horns catching the light, nice detail. And this goes up into the crest where we have got some yellow markings which look fantastic and also a lot more detail as well, including some extrusions here. So all of this looks really, really great. The head looks fantastic and that level of unique texture work and detail continues into the body. So you can see the pebbled skin here looks phenomenal. We have got nice sort of folds in the skin where the joints would be moving so it's a little bit saggy. And it just looks fantastic. Really, really lifelike, nice use of colours and really, really nice detail. I do like the black kind of spotted pattern. Looks really, really good. Breaks up the brown colour of the Diaboloceratops nicely and looks great. And then the feet... If we focus on them here, you can see we've got a nice kind of white fur with dark black claws and then lots of nice detail moving up into the body of the figure. And again, on the underside with the Schleich figures, you have got all of the legal information. So not as nice on the underside, but still lots and lots of detail, lots of texture, trying to really get this figure look looking as accurate as it can. And then nice detail with the tail as well. Great little tail detail. Great kind of sculpting and texture work all throughout, all of which looks fantastic. So the Diaboloceratops itself, I believe it's quite similar to the Styracosaurus. You can see it looks similar, but is its own unique Ceratopsian. This is a really, really great figurine. Now, the trade-off with Schleich versus Mattel, as I'm sure those of you who have been subscribed for the channel for some time will know, is these figures are non-articulated. So this figure stays as we can see it here, but it has got truly unparalleled levels of detail. So whereas the Mattel figures have got nice sculpts, this kind of takes it a step above really committing to things like dynamic sags in the skin, uh, pebbled skin and all of that because that is where the budget goes on these figures. These figures are much less about playability and much more about appearance and as you can see that really does show. So again thank you so much Dan for sending over the Diablo Ceratops. Really really glad I've opened this one. Really impressed with the level of detail here. I'm really excited to look at more Schleich toys in the future. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let us know what you thought on social media via the links below and stay tuned for more on Jurassic Collectibles in the near future. Take care guys and have a great week.